Welcome back into Sports Drive once again. I'm Preston Moore. My next guest is joining me from Tascosa High School. We just talked to Coach Evans from Paladuro. Now we're going to talk to Coach Jackson, head coach of the boys' basketball team at Tascosa. Coach Jackson, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Well, you guys have a very important game on Friday. District play opening up against Paladuro, and Paladuro is a really uh, talented team. They've won 12 games so far this season um, and have been – uh, pretty pretty stout, uh, I guess you could say they're going to be a pretty stout opponent for you guys come Friday mm-hmm. night. How do you go into a game like that, making sure that you come out with a victory, uh, especially being that it's the start of district play? I think it's really important for us just to have a good week of practice leading up to it, um, kind of fine-tuning some things. I mean, we've played about 22, 23 games thus far, and you know we've been looking at a lot of different things throughout the season. Um, you know, for this particular game. So, uh, again, we want to have a good week of practice, apply the lessons that we've learned from our other games and and just go in understanding how good a team Paladero is and and what they want to do and, and the things that we've practiced and prepared for to, to get ready for. Well, you know, one thing that is important when it comes to district play uh, that I talked to Coach Evans a little bit about it is, you know, now is when the games matter, but you've had a couple months that prepare you for this point. Um, Mm -hmm. What do you think you've learned over the months, you know, preceding district play that you're going to be able to take into district play to make sure that you are the best version of your basketball team that you can be uh, now that these games matter a little bit more? We try to just schedule a very tough uh, non-district season. Uh, We spent about Um, three, four weekends out in the Metroplex trying to see different styles of play. Um, I think of our 20 some odd games, I bet 15 of them were played out in uh, the Metroplex or down past Wichita Falls just to see different types of teams, Mm -hmm. Uh, the teams that kind of, you know, fit into our district. So um, just in that regard, we feel like uh, we were able to see some teams like Paladuro that play up tempo, that, that try to pressure the ball. But we were also able to see kind of the other styles of play that are inside of our district with Emerald High and Cap Rock and Plainview. Um, so one of the main things we tried to do was schedule tough. Um, that way we felt like we were, you know, like you said, the best version of ourselves um, going into district. I mentioned to Coach Evans that as much as you guys are going to be coming in you know, high powered. And as much as you guys are going to be coming in, wanting to play the best basketball of your season coming in, you know, really, really hot and wanting to make sure that you get this district play off on the right, started off on the right foot. As much as you guys are coming into this game uh, with that mindset, the team on the other side of the court is coming to it with the exact same mindset. Uh, And I know that coach Evans just confirmed that to me. So how do you go about making sure that your team is the one that comes out victorious uh, when both teams are coming in, really knowing how important of a game this is? Um, we have to understand our capabilities. We have to understand what type of team we are and what we do best, and we have to apply those things moving forward. I think it's going to be a battle of, you know, Will, uh, whose, you know, system and style of play kind of shines uh, in that game. We know, you know, again, Paladero is going to play very up-tempo, high pressure, and we have to be able to handle those situations in those moments as well as apply the things that we do. We believe ourselves to also be a very good defensive team, uh, but we also believe to be a very under control and um, understanding offensively of what we do best. And so we're just going to try to apply those things as best we can. And, you know, we want our style of play to kind of, kind of surface and and do what we want to do and, you know, kind of do the things that we practice as best we can. How do you control the tempo of a game? How do you control uh, the momentum against a team like Paladero that is that does play as up tempo as they do that does play you know with that style of you know quick basketball. Um, well, we, we we try to do our best to get the guys to understand um, their spots and their places when Paladero tries to apply their pressure where we need to go where we need to be and make sure we have our guys in those spots. And then we have to rely on our guys' ability just to handle pressure and play the game and understand hey, that this and that and, and, and those things are coming and, and to make adjustments on the fly and be very proactive, but at the same time react 
the right way uh, when things happen. And, you know, the game in general is a, is a game of runs. Some team's going to make a run, and then it's your job to respond and try to make a run back at them and, and try to get that momentum swing back in your direction. And so, again, when we practice today and tomorrow and, and Thursday leading up to it, just an understanding of what we need to do offensively and what we need to do defensively defensively to be prepared for this one and you know when it comes to um, our next game after that kind of apply that same format just get ourselves prepared understanding what that team understanding your opponent uh, what they want to do best and, and try to take away what they do best as best we can yeah um, you guys you mentioned that you're in this week of practice preparing for this game you know you do have the full week to really you know make sure that you're coming in with uh, all the firepower that you can come in with when you've been in practice this week, has there been a sense of, you know, okay, this, this practice matters maybe, maybe, may, I, I don't want to say matters more than another practice, but has there been a sense of this practice has a special importance to it, that this week has a special importance to it, you know, that this game matters uh, uh, a lot compared to everything that you've faced so far? Absolutely. I think, you know, we as coaches try to apply a, a sense of urgency to this week um, and understanding. I mean, we've said that, you know, before this, that, hey, the games before this were in preparation for this game. And so we do have a sense of urgency. I think the guys do realize, like, you know, playoff implications are in play at this point and, and just your opportunity to make the playoffs rest on every game, night in, night out. Um, we think we have a very tough district, um, PD being one of the toughest teams in the state of Texas, not just in our district, but also Emerald High, Caprock, and Plainview. Uh, but we also feel ourselves to be a very tough team, and we're going to do our best to, you know, show up, play a good game, and, and do the things that we we look for every day in practice. But like you said, we do have a, a special sense of urgency, a little more placement, a little more emphasis on on practices this week. You have a tough district. You mentioned you also have a small district, only five teams uh, in the district. Coach Evans said earlier in the show that that makes it feel like the district games matter even more than they normally would in another season. Do you feel that way as well? I do. I do feel the same way. Um, we don't have very many games to, to kind of separate ourselves. Those teams with larger districts, um, you can see that they'll, you know, you'll have 16, 18 uh, game uh, opportunities in some of those districts where we only have eight games. And when you only have eight games, every one of them is important. And uh, you try to distance yourselves between your other opponents as best you can. But with only eight games, it's very hard to do that. So each one is just as important as the next one. Yeah. When it, uh, one, one last question. You know, we, we talked about how much this game matters, how much district play matters. How, as you, as you go throughout the, the rest of district play, you don't have as many games as a lot of other teams do in your district play because of how small it is. How do you maintain a sense of, you know, importance over the course of those, you know, seven, eight games that you're going to play in your district? How do you make sure that your kids know night in and night out these games matter? Well, our coaches do a really good job of, of putting that that importance and that emphasis in practice, but our, our players do a really good job of understanding that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a pretty veteran group, uh, several seniors on the team that have been in these situations before, um, as well as a good young group that that's kind of finding out uh, what district play is all about. And I think that mix of, of experience, but at that same time, that youth that's just kind of hungry and humble and ready to get after it, kind of kind of really helps our opportunities and our team. And so we're going to rely on our seniors. We're going to rely on our returners to, to really drive home the points that the coaches are trying to um, show them in practice. And then we're you know going to rely on our kids. They're the ones playing the games. They're the ones that are trying to go out and and show our system. And again, we're, we're, we're anxious and we're eager to let them get out there and do it. Well, uh, Coach, thank you once again for joining. Uh, Tascosa facing off against Paladuro Friday night. We're going to have highlights on the news at 10 on Friday uh, and coverage over this matchup as well on Thursday night as well, previewing the game. So, Coach, once again, thank you for joining, and best of luck on Friday. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Stick around. Right after the break, we'll be back with more Sports Drive.